Right in. Welcome. Um, again, please like, share, subscribe, comment if you find these videos helpful. I tend to look over there because that's where the camera is. But I should be looking straight. So if, if I look like I'm going that way, it's because I'm looking at the tiny screen. It is June 7th and we have just entered first quarter moon. And it is, I'm going to read my notes. Um, take time to commit. It's a really important time to go back and reread your new moon wishes. Remember, Saturn retrograde started on the 5th until October 23rd. And it also wants you to take notes of how you're showing up authentically. And are you living the life that you want to live? I don't know what your new moon wishes are, but... Um, I have many journals and I, I use all of them for different reasons but if you are following the moon obviously if you're here watching my videos you probably are go back and see what your intentions were on oh, shit I forget what the date was June 1st I think the new moon came um, let me double check No, it was May. End of May. Um, so go back and take a look. Remember that was a new moon in Gemini. So see what you wrote down as intentions. Maybe you didn't write any down and that's okay. But it wants you to go back and reread, refeel it, revisualize it, and reimagine it. One thing for manifesting the life that you want, you really have to start to feel it. Uh, whether it's um, as simple as what your body is going to look like, what your hair is going to look like, maybe what a color of a wall is going to be, what your home is going to look like, or that future job or relationship. You have to feel it in your body before you can receive it, if that makes any sense. This will be a time where the ego, ego might want to cling on. If you watched yesterday's read, it was about love, I feel, about love and um, marriage and how you feel about that, some of your emotions around that so if the ego is starting to cling let it go make note of it and what you need to release so you can whether that's fear judgment shame whatever those lower vibrations are so you can release it on the full moon on june 14th let's tap in these poor old soul journeys card beautiful friend gave them to me i use them all the time so we're going to tap into the energy. Again, this is a general read. I am an Aquarius, so it may resonate more with air signs, but I just I just read what the cards tell me. Take what resonates. I do want you to watch other channels because it does help you understand what the cards are meaning. You should see some sort of common theme if you watch a few readers. Um, watch whoever you want. Some of them read for every sign some of them do general reading some of them are sign specific i am just learning so i i read all signs but i do i do know that it probably resonates more towards air energy let's go ahead thank you Thank you. Wow. Might be it. One more shuffle. One more. Thank you. I've got a few lower vibrations that came out that probably needs to be released. Um, that's that ego. Probably needs to be released before during the full moon. First card that came out was honesty. I can always expect the truth from others, but I can't always expect, expect the truth from others, but I can't expect it from myself. I think that's living that authentic life. It's not always easy to speak your truth. Okay, but it is worth it. Failure came out. I understand that a mistake is an opportunity to learn. We are in that Saturn retrograde energy, okay, in that first quarter moon energy where this ego may be coming up of where your failures are. I'm working on a few of my own. They're not fun to work through, but 
you gotta face it. Loneliness, I know that I am never alone. Okay, are you able to sit with yourself, enjoy your own company? Being always overstimulated by people, okay, for some of us can be overwhelming. And adversity, accept that challenges are the best way I can learn. I'm so fucking tired of being <laughs> adverse. I, yeah, I'm, I'm done this lesson, okay? I'm gonna pick a Divine Feminine card. Again, Divine Feminine is not a gender. It's an energy. It is your left side of your body. It's your softer side. Let's see what messages need to come out. Wow, that's a nice one. Usually these ones don't want to talk as much as they do today. And one more. And of course, the last one that comes out I won't be able to pronounce. Do bear with me because they've got some shit fuck names. First one that came out, Cosmic Egg, the Divine Feminine. I hold the universe within me and I am in a force of ever-expanding love. definitely feel like this reading is going to be an empowerment reading. I'm sure I'll know more when the tarots come out. We've got Dakini, uh, the enlightened feminine. My gut instinct is wise beyond reason. I trust my intuition to guide me. Tap into that intuition. When you want to say no, honor it and say no. It's the best way to tap into your intuition. Seppo, the poets. I love every inch of my body and I love the woman, the women in my life fiercely. Nice message. Especially with summer season coming, many of us um, are hard on our bodies. We feel a lot of shame with how we look. I'm working on that myself. Okay. But we are all beautiful. Okay. This one I'm not even going to try to pronounce, but she's a mother of believers. I am spiritually and financially abundant. I provide heaven and earth for myself. Nice reminder. And this one, again, I'm not gonna even going to try to. But she is the essence of all Buddhas. I have the power to make each moment sacred. Everything is material for my liberation. Definitely all empowering. Oh, there's the last one. Empowering women come into your own. pull some from the Moonology Oracle just because we're beginning the first quarter Here comes my cats hi right, socks what are you doing bud they may not want to speak oh they do Literally can't make this shit out. Your commitment is being tested. First quarter moon. Okay. What did you commit to on the new moon? Okay. What do you want in your life? It's being tested right now because we are in the first quarter move. Do you push through it? Okay. Do you feel the emotion and acknowledge it? And let it th flow through you? Or do you just go low vibration? Anger? towards some sort of addiction so you don't have to face it. Again, no judgment. I've been there. Okay. Let's see what commitment is being tested. I use these a lot, so I don't sec. I'm going to pull three. If three don't pop out.
way too many. Just come in the clumps up to just one. <clears throat> Take the top too. Nine of Swords came. That's the bottom of the deck. I like to look at that. Nine of Swords came up yesterday as well. It's that overactive mind. Okay. Tap into those lower energies. Why are you feeling it? Journal about it. Okay. And underneath the Nine of Wands. Okay. The Hierophant was all about traditions. Okay. Just be mindful of what's rising in you right now. First card that came out was the Two of Wands. Wands are fire energy. Could be you. We're dealing with an Arrows, Leo, or Sagittarius. It's creativity and fun. Two of Wands is assessing one's life. Damn sure that came out yesterday. Um, so take time to assess. We are in that first quarter energy. We had the Knight of Cups. Cups are water energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And the Knight is romantic. And they follow their heart. And we have the page of wands. Page is feeling inspired. Okay. I'm not 100% sure what that's telling us, but. Let's see what else comes out. Thank you. A lot of wands energy. Another one just came out. alone was eight of wands it's all about manifesting feeling giddy speed of how your wishes come true we have the ace of pentacles came out that's a new beginning financial reward earth energy taurus virgo capricorn and we had the queen of cups intuitive and sensitive water energy Ironically, there wasn't any air energy come out, so let's take time to just looking at them. Again, go back to your new moon wishes. Okay, what did you wish for? I definitely feel there was a wish for this guy. Okay, romance following your heart. Okay, it can be following your heart for a career. It doesn't always have to be a relationship. Okay, and how do you get there? Okay, you're tapping into that wands energy. Okay, that creative side. Your fire energy. Find that, light that fire within yourself. Okay. There's a lot of fire energy in this reading. Hi, Socks. Okay. Again, this is your ultimate feeling that you want. The Queen of Cups. She's intuitive. She's sensitive. Okay, she's beautiful. An Ace of Pentacles, a sign of new beginnings. Okay, a financial reward coming to you. Please go back and check your new moon wishes. It is a time to see what you're ready to commit to. I would look back at that. Okay, you do have some lower vibrations that you probably want to connect to. Loneliness and failure. I think that's it. Something else. I just don't know what. I'll pull another card or something else. Okay. Okay. 
three popped out immediately, so thank you for that message. Three of Wands. Reaping the rewards of hard work. So whatever you are working on right now, keep at it. Keep going. This is definitely a fire energy. Reed, Arrows, Leo, Sagittarius. That may be your sign or you're dealing with one. Okay. Keep going with your hard work. Your Five of Cups. Okay. She's dwelling on negative self-pity which totally makes sense because we should go back that ego is wanting to pop to the surface to bring us down okay she has the magic cup if you can see the bowl right here but she's focusing on what she's lost okay this is where she wants to be okay you have to let this go and see what you have and to get there the overall is a wheel okay cycles and changes you are coming into a change. Please comment, like, share. Visit my store if you if you have seen the message about that. It, all purchases bought in that store. I do help others that have mental health with financial aid. So any purchase that you make from that store goes directly back to people who need financial aid for their mental health. Um, I'm grateful that I'm in a position that I can help others and I would like to pay it forward as often as I can. And I think this is the way that we, we can change um, <clears throat> how we help the mental mentally ill. So please, if you can, buy a merchandise, a cup, drinking mug, a coffee mug, whatever you want. And all proceeds of the sales goes back to those who need financial help for therapy. Take care. Thank you.